anyway so i was going to edit a photo and i thought that i would try to show um how i do that and for two things uh two reasons one i could try out the obs and see if i'm doing it correctly to show up at the camera because um, I'm vain like that <laughs> uh, just kidding and the other is um, so you can see me talking or whatever show people how I do some of this stuff um, that's it um, so I'm going to import my photo which you can see the mouse over here I'll wiggle my mouse my mouse will get large when I'm trying to point something out and I'll go back, but I'm going to import my photo that I've already sent to uh, Lightroom. So that's going to be imported. I want to click on the photo. My mouse is up here. I'm going to click on the photo once. Then I'm going to go over here to develop. Boom. Here is my image. So uh, one of the first things, let's see, I could probably put that right there. Um, make this a little bit bigger. I'm thinking. This is what I'd be thinking. Um, I'm hoping you guys are seeing what I'm seeing here. Actually, I can get even bigger. Still be part of the show. All right, I don't want to get in the image. Not looking to get in the image, but anyway, um, hopefully I don't have to go to the left over there and you don't have to see too much. So one of the first things I check out when I pop in here is I look at my exposure and I can slide the exposure on right away and tell if I, how close I was to my original shot, which wasn't too bad. I was pretty much there. So right off the bat, I am going to just maybe tap just a notch or two and brighten it up because I'm going to darken it up later with different effects. Uh, when I mean effects, I mean such things as this right here, contrast. So I'm going to slide down a little bit here. Um, right below, let's see, can you still see that over here? Okay. So right over here, you've got exposure, then you've got your contrast. And I am turning up the contrast just maybe a couple of points to oh plus five or six. And I'll move down from that. Now now the new Lightroom has instead of fill light or whatnot, it has highlights. And you can slide this highlights back and forth. And that'll bring your crazy whites and the bright spots up, or you can darken them down a little bit. And for this one. I think I'm going to bring them down a little bit because I want this water over here in the image to show up nice. So I'm also going to check the shadows. I'm going to move my shadows around. Now I can brighten this up and you can see the green. There's, there's plants, plants on the rock out there. Well, it's haystack rock. But I think I like the silhouette. So I'm going to darken that up a little bit. The shadows, I'm going to leave the shadows darkened in there. And my whites again i touch them and test them now if you move them you don't like them you can just go right over here to your thing and go edit and undo and it brings it back one step um so i'm going to push up the whites just a tad right bring out that foam um again with the blacks i'm going to push these blacks down now for some reason on the uh, Lightroom 6, when I move it down, it gets darker. I move it up, it gets brighter. So I'm going to slide them down just a tad to my liking. I'm going to move down to clarity. Now, clarity will make things, edges pop out. They'll make um, lines stand out. Um, just that it'll it has it has a lot of effects it makes things sharper sometimes like i don't put too much clarity on someone's face and you know everything comes out which you know doesn't look good 
but on inanimate objects like this, now see, I can make this, see how that sand just kind of blackens up? See, we can soften it up. Ooh, that's kind of nice. You know what? Here's what we're going to do with the clarity is we are going to soften it up. Look at that. Look how foamy that water looks now. Just about here. And whoosh. Tickly foam coming across your feet there. All right. So the next step down would be vibrance. So you push up the vibrance a little bit, and the colors will stand up. All of a sudden, we went from the great northwest to a beautiful island out the North Pacific. Boom. Same with the saturation. Just touch it. Go crazy, it'll, it won't look right. Just touch it. Give a little touch. Now, I'm going to remember Bob Ross, J. Mackle. See it now. All right. No, I'm kidding. Um, we go. Oops, I got the dogs for a minute. It's going to get noisy. Mama's home. So the sharpening, I am going to push up just a tad here. I'm going to sharpen up the outside edges. And we are going to add a touch of luminescence, which is going to, hi babe, which is going to uh, soften up, <laughs> soften up some of the sky and the sand. Maybe a little much, maybe get a little, see down here, just some, there's some um, vignetting going on which I'm not like I gotta figure out how to work. Let's turn down the detail. Could be in the saturation. Let's drop the saturation. There we go. A little too much saturation, a little too much vibrance there. So we can keep that blue vibrance, but we gotta come back and do it by hand because of the sand. We don't want that sand to get off. Out of color. So I had to go back up here and adjust those two things. Um, all right. So I'm going to skip a lot of this here. I'm going to go down to the profile corrections. And I'm going to click on the camera that I used, which is a Canon. There's a slight adjustment there on the side of the camera you may have seen. The side of the image flattened out a bit. Now we're going to look at the highlight priority. So I, could, I can go way up, I can lay down low. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to darken the edges a little bit so that your eye stays focused out there in the middle. Okay. And we're not going to mess with the grain on this one. That would be cool more black and white photo. So now I'm going to move my mouse up here. I'm going to go to my brush. Actually, before that, I am going to go to this tool. Now, what is this tool called? This is a gradient. I'm going to click at the top of the image right here. Pull a flat line. Just like so. See how the sky turned black and white, basically? As the saturations turned down from the last job I did. We're going to put that back up. And push the saturation up just a little bit. See, now I'm only doing it in the sky. Okay? Those of you that are photographers, you got to... Something to remember is that a photo isn't taken. It's created. And, um, oops. And, you know, if you're a photographer, you're an artist. I mean, you just you basically create your image. Um... That's the way it goes. I'm gonna soften up the clarity. Yeah, let's see. We can push up the clarity. There you go. Look at those clouds get more defined out there. It almost looks stormy like. Okay. We're gonna push up this moi noise. I don't even know how to pronounce these two little things that are noise and moi moi, which to me looks like a luminescence. 
softens it up, takes away all those harsh edges. Okay, I'm gonna hit done there. I like how, how that's worked now. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna take out my brush again. I'm gonna push up the saturation and see on my screen, see that round tool there, put it down here in the beach, you can see my spot mover. Um, I'm gonna push the saturation up a little bit. We're gonna come across this beautiful water here. Brush a little bit. My mouse, I just, <clears throat> just slide that up and it pushes the mouse out. I'm just kind of painting the area. Because now, once that's done, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with the clarity. Push that up, look how dark you got. It's like a cold water. You know? don't want that. Maybe let's leave the clarity there. Double click it and the clarity will return to zero. Um, we'll check out the shadows, see if anything comes up in there. I'll leave those the same. The double click. Um, let's check out the shadows. Yeah, I want to want to sharpen it up. All right, and a little contrast. I'm gonna look at the exposure. It's cool. It's kind of a dramatic. Dramatic lighting effect there. Um, the sun is kind of shooting in across the image here. Um, there's a dark spot. If you look at the sand, you can see a darker area to the right. And the sunburst. And it's a little bright now. What a right. I'm going to pull up another brush. And I'm, this time I'm going to use it for the exposure. I'm going to lower the exposure just a tad, and I'm going to paint down the edge of the wall. It's a little strong for me, I think. That the one. Lower the highlights, so it's too much. You can see the brush marks where you do. Most everything you do is you can do very slight adjustments. What I was messing with there is the temp, which I don't usually to do. Um, okay, so I'm going to get another brush now. And you can see on the screen, after each job, each adjustment you do, this little dot show up where you did your work, right? You can actually click that dot or put your mouse over it, click it and hold it. And it'll the area that you worked on, that you adjusted, will turn red. If you, you know, you do some, something, you walk away, you come back, you look at it, and it goes, you know, that just doesn't look right. You just literally hit the button, delete. Whew, everything you did goes away. Um, here, I will work with that. Check this out. Whew, everything gone. I still think it's too bright right there. So, I am going to... Just give a little push in here. I think maybe I'm going to add the contrast up so the darker areas are between the foam show up. I'm going to blend that through here. All right. Now, I am going to look at another specialty brush, and I'm going to scroll to Clarity. So now this brush is mainly about clarity, which is turned up a bit. And I'm going to push the clarity right here in this wet spot. And that is going to help it reflect. Boom. See how I turn that up? Turn that up in here. Causes a reflection in the sand. 
Now it's really, really clear. See the water. I like it. It's pretty dramatic. Those reflections pop. I'm going to push out the saturation too. Yeah. Let's see, we're going to lower the saturation. Now, I'm going to take another brush. I'm going to start with the exposure. And I'm going to try to brighten this lock with all these cool chronicles. Just across that. And pull up the brightness. And same effect on the other lock. I have to pick a new spot. This one. Like so. And it's brighten. Looks like that one's kind of shadowy. And I'm going to click up here, take away all my little dots. And I um, think I'm going to call this image complete. Um, Yeah, looks good on my screen. Wasn't a top winning photo. I just wanted to do one, put one together so you can see uh, what I do or how I do it a little bit. Some of my images. So what you're looking at in this image right here is this, especially with this little, this right here is called the teacup handle. <laughs> ah, Leia. And what we got here is Haystack Rock is located at Cape Kawanda here in the Pacific Northwest <laughs> on the coast up in an area called Pacific City or Lincoln City um, you can look it up in there it's a beautiful place um, my daughter likes to swim right here um, <laughs> when we go to this particular spot which is really cool she gets out of here and she gets pretty deep but the thing that scares me is there's a lot of seals and sea lions, and they pop up. And they'll be swimming here, and 20 feet off to your right is a sea lion. And they're harmless. But the uh, sharks that hunt them sometimes aren't. <laughs> um, there's been a couple attacks on this particular beach over like 20 years, something like that. And they were, uh, I don't think they were fatal. Um, it might have been one that was fatal. Um, it was done to a surfer. So, anyway, this is an interesting spot. Um, the dory boats come driving in. They go out fishing right here, and they will. It's fun to go watch these dory boats. They will come flying in and just beach themselves, and then the uh, trucks come down and pick them up. Anyway, a whole another story. Um, I just wanted to show you how I do some editing. Uh, kind of helpful and we will check you later thanks for watching